Let's take a look at some of the hidden and not well known features of the DJI Mini 2. Let's take a look at the DJI Mini 2 secret settings. So before I go into the not well known and secret features of the DJI Mini 2 that you might not know about, I just want to say 99.7% .7 of you aren't subscribed to my channel. And if you like drone related videos, please make sure the subscribe button's on. Please make sure the notification bell's on so you don't miss any of my other videos. I'd love to have you around for this video and all future videos. So the first is phone charging. How many times have you went to fly your drone and realized, oh no, my phone's only at 15%, 20% battery. I don't want to risk flying and my phone dying while I'm flying it. So I'm not going to be able to fly it. I know I found myself in that situation. But did you know you can take the charge from your controller and charge your phone while flying? So before the most recent DJI Fly app, this was a feature that iOS devices had to turn on and off. Then they released a new version where they took it away completely. You could not charge your phone at all from the controller. And now they've put it back, but they've put it back with a slight change. iOS and Android devices will now automatically charge from the battery off the controller when it's plugged in. So this is great when you're out flying because it means that your controller is always charging your phone and that you'll never run out of battery on your phone when flying. Like I say, the only caveat is you can't turn this on and off. So you need to be aware that your controller is always charging your phone and that it will drain the battery slightly quicker, but not that much. The pros outweigh the cons in that you can always rely on having your phone full of charge for when you're out flying. The next secret tip is, have you ever wanted to get a shot off your drone flying for TikTok or Instagram stories? Maybe you hovering, maybe you taking off, maybe you flying away, but you can't because you're flying with your phone and you're flying with the app up. Well, did you know that you can quickly switch to your phone camera and continue flying your drone? Now, I wouldn't recommend this if your drone's far away, but for simple takeoff shots or hovering shots, or what I like to do is a shot where you're just flying off in a straight line, you can swipe up on your phone, go into your camera and start recording video, and you still have control over your drone using the sticks. So. If you use the app to get your drone to hover, then you can simply switch into your camera phone app, start recording, record your drone. You can then press forward on your controller and literally video your drone flying off into the distance. Or you can bring it back, flip into your camera, press down to land your drone and video your drone landing. You can then simply flip out your camera app, go straight back in your DJI Fly app and continue seeing what your drone sees and or flying. And this makes it really easy and handy to get awesome TikTok and Instagram content off you flying your drone. I've been doing this and I've never once had the DJI app crash in me or any connection or transmission issues when switching back and forth. But if there ever was any of those issues, the drone would automatically return to home anyway. There's a new secret feature within the latest update of the DJI Fly app which now allows you to change orientation when a drone's returning to home. So what is this and why is this actually a really handy feature? So before when your drone was returning to home, it would always fly in one orientation towards the home location. So it would simply fly facing forward towards the return to home location. But now when a drone's returning to home, you can yaw it left and right. You can rotate the orientation. So this allows you to do two things. Firstly, it allows you to get cinematic shots right at the last moment. So say there's one last shot you need, but your, your drone's low in battery and it's returning to home. Well, before you might have got a useless shot of it flying back towards you, but now as the drone's returning to home, you can flip on record and you don't need to worry about the direction of the drone because the drone is flying itself back towards you. And you can simply rotate your drone as it's coming back to get a really nice smooth cinematic shot. It takes the worry of worrying about the direction of the drone out of your hands, you just need to worry about the rotation. Or maybe if you're a beginner flyer and can't really fly smoothly with the sticks, you can take it out to a certain location, hit the return to home button, and as the drone's coming back towards you, again, you only need to worry about the rotation. It allows you to easily get cinematic shots now. Did you know that the DJI Mini 2 drone can actually look up? Within settings and under control, 
there's an option called allow gimbal rotation upward. And by flicking this on, your gimbal can now rotate up an extra 20 degrees. So why is this useful? This allows you to get a really nice cinematic unique shot where you start looking up and as you pull back, you rotate the gimbal down and this gives a really nice unique cinematic perspective. Or it allows you to look up whenever you're flying in a tight location, like maybe through an arch. And it allows you to look up just to make sure you're clearing all obstacles because obviously the DJI Mini 2 has no upward facing sensors. So are you a data geek? And would you like your drone to record all its inputs and flight data and location onto the video where you can see it at a later date without ruining your video? Well, now you can. Within the settings of the DJI Fly app, you can turn on video subtitles. And what this does is it secretly stores all the flight data and information to your video. All you need to do to see this is to load up the video once you get back onto your laptop or computer, open it in a piece of software like VLC and turn on subtitles. Then over the top of the video, you will see all flight inputs and data that your drone has been recording over the top of your video. It helps me see what camera settings I was using over the top of some of my best shots so I can recreate them. Or God forbid, something should go wrong with your drone. You can see that flight data over the top of the video. And because you can simply turn subtitles off at any time and it doesn't ruin your video, I find this is a feature that's really useful to always leave on. So have you ever wished that the photos you took in your DJI Mini 2 were just instantly available within your phone gallery that you could use at any point in time? Well, there's actually a unique feature that is specifically unique to the DJI Mini 2. I, I don't know why this should be in all drones that allows you to automatically sync your HD photos to your phone. Within settings, on under the camera section of the DJI Fly app, you can turn on Auto Sync HD Photos, and then every single photo you take with your drone will automatically sync in HD quality to your phone. And that way, if you ever want to quickly post something on Instagram, Instagram Stories, or TikTok, then photos are already there on your phone to use. I just leave this on all the time, and that way, all the photos I take when I'm out flying my drone are on my phone, ready to go whenever needed. Now, if you want to get full quality video clips off your drone onto your phone, you used to have to do this a couple of ways. You could either have put them onto your computer and laptop and Dropbox them to your phone, or you could have bought a phone memory card reader attachment and put the memory card into your phone. Either way, it's a bit of a faff. So the DJI Mini 2 now has an amazing quick transfer feature. So all you do is you hold the button at the bottom of the drone until it goes into media sharing mode. It will then flash up to connect to your phone, and then you can, through the air, sync photos and videos to your phone. Now this is not as quick as if you were doing a transfer from a memory card, but it's certainly quick enough if you need a couple of videos at high quality definition taken off your drone and on your phone, and you don't have a laptop or computer handy, say you're right about, and you don't want to buy a memory card reader for your phone. This is a great little feature. Just remember whenever you're done to hold the button on the back of the drone again to put it into fly mode and take it out of media sharing mode. Lastly, did you know that the return to home button on the controller is also an emergency brake button? So if you're flying along and all of a sudden you see an obstacle, you can hit the emergency brake button and the drone will stop as fast as it can. Now in my experience, I find that this actually stops the drone much quicker than you could because it banks the drone backwards. So if you're flying forward, it will actually angle the drone upwards to stop as quickly as possible. And I find you just can't really do that using the sticks. So if you see an obstacle coming, don't panic, hit the emergency brake button and the drone will break as quickly as possible. And then it will just hover in place and it will not move until you press the up stick again. So another scenario this might be really good for is if something happens to you while flying the drone or if someone comes over to talk to you and all of a sudden things are getting confusing, simply hit the emergency brake button and the drone will just hover where it is until you're capable of taking control again. There's no need to panic. Just be careful because a long press of this button activates return to home. So if you want an emergency brake, just press it quickly. Lastly, and this is a bit of a, a pro tip, if you lose your sticks or if you forget your sticks for whatever reason, don't write off a day's flying. You can actually just use your thumbs on the base of where the sticks connect and you can still fly your drone really accurately and really well. I've had to do this once and I actually find that once you get used to it, it doesn't diminish your shot quality in any way and your control over the drone is just as good with the sticks. Well, it's not as good as with the sticks, but it's perfectly acceptable for flying. So don't throw out a day's flying if you forget your sticks. 
just use your thumbs on the stick control surfaces. So that's it, that's my secret things you might not know about the DJI Mini 2. If you've learned something new and you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And 99.7% of you aren't subscribed to my channel. So if you like drone related videos, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Please make sure the notification bell's on so you don't miss any of my other videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you around.